good morning everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday so far and I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend as well with the Lionsgate portal yesterday. That was super fun and just brought so much great energy and I want to know what you guys were up to and what you guys did uh, this weekend so be sure to share that in the comments. But I wanted to jump on here because with the Lionsgate portal yesterday and implementing new habits, um, implementing new, you know, lifestyle choices and better habits and all of those things um, that goes hand in hand with that yesterday. And um, I want to know what your intentions that you guys set yesterday for that as well. Um, but with that, um, I wanted to share today because with the Lionsgate portal comes being more mindful and being mindful of what we are, you know, filling our minds with, whether that is from TV, music, um, friends, family, um, you know, staying positive is very important and um, just, I guess, implementing things that are going to lead to healthier better, more abundant life and lifestyle. So I wanted to start Mondays out with calling it Mindful Mondays because um, I'm going to start implementing and being more mindful and intentional of the choices and the lifestyle choices that I'm making and things that I am doing to help better my life and overall wellness. So of course I wanted to share that with you guys and share what I am doing. So um, for those just jumping on in the comments, go ahead and share what you guys were up to this weekend and some of the intentional uh, habits and things that you did yesterday for yesterday's Lionsgate uh, portal. So I'm super excited to hear what you guys did and some things you're looking forward to. Um, so I want to jump into what I want to share um, for this Mindful Monday. I have some Ningxia that I'm gonna make up here in a second. My spritzer to take with me so that I can be mindful of getting in all of the antioxidants that my body needs to perform at its best um, as I do lead a very, very busy lifestyle. Um, this really just jam packs everything into one. I even throw this in my smoothies to just get it all in at once. And I throw my sulfur zyme in it, it is so good. And you can switch up you know, between the Vitality oils, I love to use lemon or lime. But before we jump into that, I just wanna talk about some things that I'm doing as far as being mindful. I started my morning with a wonderful guided meditation. So if you guys have ever done a guided meditation, let me know your thoughts on that and share your favorites with me below. Um, another thing I'm doing is implementing more healthy, um, nutrient-based, uh, seed to seal supplements that I will be showing you guys that I take before I leave the house and some oils. So first we're gonna put on some oils because the Lord knows that we need it. So I'm gonna start out with some of my favorites and the ones that I use on a daily basis and can't live without, I must have. If there was a zombie apocalypse, Lord knows I'm gonna have these oils with me. So first and foremost, I have to say, my two favorite, like I can't pick between which one I like better, is gonna come to, down to Believe and Abundance. So that is Believe and then Abundance. So we're gonna start by putting those ones on for being mindful of putting on our oils. So if you needed a reminder, this is your cue, get your oils on. They know what to do, they just gotta be on the body. So. I'm gonna start off with some abundance. And on that note, what are some things that you are trying to manifest in the realm of abundance? And besides the ones that you're trying to manifest, what is some abundance that you guys have in your life that you are super thankful for? For me, it's having this oil. <laughs> and having all of these tools to just pack my body with the nutrients that it needs and that it's lacking from the modern diet. 
And that's another thing that, that I will be addressing. So then I'm gonna go in with some believe. Because this is a live video, I'm sorry if this is boring you, but this is your reminder. You can do it with me. Get your oils on with me. Okay, so this is some Believe. This is one of my all-time favorite oils. I absolutely love this blend. For those wondering that aren't familiar with these two blends, uh, Abundance is a blend of orange, frankincense, patchouli, clove, ginger, myrrh, cinnamon, and black spruce. All-time favorite. Believe is Grand Fir, Coriander, Bergamot, <clears throat> frankincense, Idaho Blue Spruce, Ylang Ylang, and Geranium. I absolutely love those. So we're gonna start off with uh, oils next. Well, I shouldn't say start off. We're going to jump into next some oils that are going to help in the mindfulness um, aspect of things and really just magnify what it is that we're looking to put out into the universe. So for that oil that really helps me to do that is magnify your purpose. I was gifted this oil from Valerie, so thank you so much, Valerie, for this oil. It's one of my favorites. This one's a great perfume. I like to put this one on my wrists and on my diffuser bracelets that are made with lava beads. It helps the aroma from the essential oils to last all day. So that one is great, especially when intention setting and trying to manifest, whoops, because um, it is just going to help magnify what it is that you are trying to bring into your reality and to bring in your reality closer, especially if you're not sure what your purpose is, it will help to bring that into your awareness. So I absolutely love that one. The next one that I'm gonna do is Envision. So if you don't have these oils, definitely go get them and add them to your order. I love this one. Envision. So Envision is, let's see, a blend as well. This one is a blend of black spruce, geranium, orange, lavender, sage, and rose. I absolutely love this one. So we are going to envision a future that we want to live out and that we want to magnify in the world. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish up with a couple more oils that I put on before I leave the house. And of course this one is a pretty much a no-brainer. This one's Stress Away. And to me it smells like a vacation in a bottle. If I can get it open since I have so much oil on my hand at this point. It smells so good. I absolutely love Stress Away. This one's great in the diffuser. And I like to use my hair as a diffuser. So I'm just gonna put some oils in there. It does help to keep the strands nice and smooth. And say if you did curl your hair, it helps to tame down the curls if you don't like them too tight and prom curly. You want the more beachy, that is the perfect, perfect thing to do is apply some oils in your hair. And if you haven't tried this already, definitely do so. You will thank me later. And then the last bit of oils that I'm going to be applying before I jump into my next uh, set of mindfulness things, habits, I should say, I'm going to go in with Ylang Ylang. I really love this one as my perfume. If you haven't smelled this one yet, you have to try it because it is so, so good. Women especially. Let's see. Got too much oil on my hand at this point to open these up. Let's see if I can get it. And this one's a little bit thicker. There we go. Or no, this one's not the thick one. The patchouli is. That one's next. Okay, I like to do this on my wrist and a little bit on my bracelets. Okay. And then next is patchouli. This is the thicker one. And of course, this bottle opens a lot easier. I love this one. This is my hippie oil. You can use this patchouli as deodorant. I absolutely love it. 
and just get your oils on. It's simple as that. You're gonna smell amazing and be supporting your body all at once. And the last bit of oils that I'm gonna be applying, clearly you can see that I apply endless amounts, but this is just the start. I go in with some rose because rose is one of the highest frequency oils. And I wanna be as high frequency as possible and stay away from any negative low energy. So this is like my shield of protection. My oils are my shield. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with some my Thieves Roller. I'm just gonna do that on my spine. And I already applied it once I got out of the shower on the bottoms of my feet. There's a hair on me. But I did that, and that is just going to be like a shield of oily protection for my day, and I'm going to be a walking diffuser. So I absolutely love that. Next, I'm gonna go in and make my Ningxia spritzer and talk a little bit about that. So I have a stainless steel cup here, and I got some ice in there. Then I'm gonna go in with two fluid ounces of Ningxia. You're gonna wanna shake the bottle first because you will get some settling at the bottom and you want all that goodness to be mixed thoroughly throughout. Let's see. Bear with me now as I try to open this as I've got so many oils on my hands. There we go. So I'm gonna be, do about two fluid ounces, possibly a little more. That's always better. Gotta get in those nutrients. For those who don't know, Ningxia Red is a wolfberry antioxidant drink that includes obviously the essential oils. Um, it's a whole body nutrient infusion um, with the legendary Ningxia wolfberry or otherwise known as a goji berry that has been sought out for centuries with ongoing research and for its new health properties. Um, I absolutely love this. I drink it every day and two fluid ounces. And it's basically like getting in tons of strawberries, tons of blueberries, lots of fruits and veggies all in one. So you need to get these antioxidants in as it is like youth in a bottle and anti-aging. So you definitely want those benefits. Next, I'm gonna go in and use some sulfurzyme. I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons here. Just gonna go ahead and add that. Next, I'm gonna go in with my LaCroix Raz Cranberry. If I can get it open. I feel like this whole video has just been me trying to open things. <laughs> You can relate. Really comment down below and tell me I'm not alone. Live videos are always so fun. So I'm gonna give that a good mix and then I'm going to add a drop or two of the Lemon Vitality. The Vitality line is labeled for consumption or ingestion however you want to say it. And so this is going to be my delicious red drink that I am going to bring with me everywhere today. And it's just going to keep me going. No crash because I'm not going to be drinking coffee. I'm trying to limit my coffee. So being more mindful about my coffee intake. I'm starting with just doing one cup in the morning and trying to not drink any more for the rest of the day. Um, I have been getting some head tension from that, so thank God I have my oils to support my body, but, uh, and the Ningxia as well, but it's super good. And then last thing I'm going to do in my intentional mindful morning is I'm going to take some Super C. The capsules look like this, so it's not that bad. I've got my water here. You definitely want to be taking your vitamin C. Okay, and it says take one tablet for maintenance or two for additional vitamin C. This does also have, let's see, it has calcium, zinc, and manganese, I believe is how you say it. Um, let's see, for the oils that are in here, we have, let's 
see, lemongrass, grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, some cayenne powder, um, and orange. Let's see, and whatever root and flower is. So that's pretty cool, I'm excited about that. I've been taking this for quite some time. This is like my third bottle of this. I will be repurchasing this forever. Can't live without. Okay, and then next is Super B. If you aren't taking any B vitamins, this is your cue to get some and get you some that are not synthetic. So Super B, it says take two tablets. I like to do um, one and do it um, kind of throughout the day. So I'll take one now and another later. Um, let's see, it is just packed with tons and tons of different um, nutrients. Let's see, we've got zinc, psyllium, magnesium, calcium, biotin, vitamin B12, which is very, very important. Um, and much more. So read up on this and definitely get you some of that. And just want to put it out there, I should have mentioned this before, but I am not a doctor. Um, I am in no way treating or diagnosing um, that you need to talk to your doctor or in medical professional um, and before you go ahead and make any choices on what you do with your health. But um, this is just what I do. This is some of the habits that I'm implementing in my life um, to make sure that I am above the wellness line. So last but not least, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the super vitamin D. Everybody needs vitamins. And I absolutely love this one. This one's like my all time favorite. It's kind of like a sweet little lozenge after, or sort, or tablet, I should say. But I let it dissolve for like five to 10 seconds. You could chew it and that would take away the fun in my opinion. Um, and it has organic lemon balm in it, uh, lots of vitamin D and Melissa. I absolutely love the Melissa and I think that's what it is. But these are some of the things that I do. Another thing is make sure you're drinking your water. The spring water is always the best. So make sure you've got that with you all day as well as your Ningxia. Make sure you're staying hydrated. It is supposed to be super hot this week, so stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay in a high vibe. So I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day and is more mindful on their Monday. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.